a great day. Glad you're along. I would say some of the most eye-catching images on the walls of Quad City businesses and outside murals were all created by my first guest today. Her name is Atlanta Dawn, and she's a mural artist with a portfolio that takes your breath away, <laughs> and I think it really does. It's good to see you, well, Atlanta. Thank you, Paula. Hi. Uh, hi. I've never interviewed anyone named Atlanta. But you are not from Atlanta. You're from Moline, Illinois. That's correct. You're a Moliner. You're from Moline. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so tell me about this uh, this large art. Have you always gone big when it comes to that? You know, uh, not always large, but I find creating large pieces just so much more fun. You get to have uh, a lot more creative freedom with it, and and your brush strokes, and then just everything about it. Just, I I love it. It's so trendy too, because you know, in every city you ever visit around the world, there's mural art, there's that public art that's outside. So you sure. do that, and then you're also you really mainly for businesses as, as well, uh, inside of businesses. We're looking at this right here. Um, some of it's on uh, on glass. Yep. outside of a place like on a storefront some's on brick is it most often on brick or glass one of the two uh, the windows I really love to do because they're just temporary installations uh, they can be up for a month or two and we can take them down or I've had some up for more than a year and then yeah most exterior buildings you're either painting on block or brick mm -hmm. which is all right it's got its challenges sometimes I bet <laughs> you, you do this yourself yep all by myself all by yourself. Don't you feel like sometimes you, if a job is really big, you could use some help, but that's not, I don't know, you'd have to train somebody, wouldn't you? Yeah, there are artists in the community I know that I can reach out to and get help if I need it. Okay, so. okay, good. Um, so this is a, a working on this one right here, uh, the Foundation Woodworking. Most of these businesses are where? Right here in the Quad Cities immediately, right? Yes, most of them, yep. And so what is it? Oh, I love that one, the desert. That actually is in Iowa City, oh, but... I love uh, it. This one's right downtown Davenport on 5th. Do you love all of the jobs, or sometimes do you have to draw something that someone asked for that you're, it really is not to your own taste? You know, if it's not up to my taste, I'll probably pass the job on to someone else. Oh, really? Yeah. So is, what is your style? What would you call your style? Because all of this stuff looks very different to me. Sure, yeah. Uh, my style is very versatile. It's got a little bit of sign painting, a little bit of realism, a little bit of impressionism. Um, I really just kind of feel out what that, that client or that business needs and then give it back. Got it. Well, I'm thinking about, um, you know, our weather here and, you know, now we're in the spring where it can, you know, we had a lot of rain. I mean, you never know. Is, is it weather dependent on what you do? Oh, sure. If it's an exterior job, I always book a little extra time on my schedule for that job just in case we get some rainy days or I work really hard to get it done before those storms come. Sure. <laughs> Have you ever been called out in the middle of the winter and you're saying, uh, no thanks? Oh gosh, yes. Uh, I Even to the extent, I have a, a space heater, a propane heater that I'll bring with me so that way if it's really cold out, I can still get the job done. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That, yeah, that, that's uh, inclement conditions right there. Yeah. Uh, you brought some uh, new ones that you just did uh, right next to you. I wanna want you to hold those up. Um, yeah. Everybody loves a painting of the bridge. So tell me how you, tell me how you arrived at the stop that you wanted to do for this? Well, so I painted, the, I live painted this at the bridge opening ceremony at the Waterfront Convention Center. The canvas is actually six and a half foot by eight foot, so it's big, and now it lives at the new Tourism Center, Visa, Visit Quad City Center, downtown Davenport. <gasps> Good for you. Yes. You live, so when you live paint something, you don't, you don't finish it, you just sketch it out? I don't know. I finished it there on site. How long, how long did it take you? Uh, about eight hours. You sat there for eight hours? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's some dedication. Yes. So um, did you know it would turn out well enough to somebody have to judge it and say, well, this is good enough for us to use? I had no clue how it was going to turn out. It's just, you know, luck. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I, I love it. So you, you guys got to look for that. Where would you say it is it at the uh, uh, It's the, the visitor center. center. The visitor center. Yep, downtown Davenport. Okay. And then this next one, I also live painted um, when the Viking Mississippi first came to the Quad Cities. The river, the new riverboat. Yep. Yes. So their very first visit to the Quad Cities. Uh, the Was that last summer? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Oh, look at that. Did you live paint. So again, you just sit there, stand there, whatever, and make it happen from one spot? Yep. And then everyone needs to watch it um, unfold. And actually, the boat owner bought the painting. Oh, really? Yeah. So you did get some money out of that. You don't do this for free. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Good for you. And then lastly, this one was fun. Uh, Breskin Gallery did a call for local artists to live paint outside. 
Um, so I live painted it out by the river, uh, which I was challenging because the wind was blowing that day. So my canvas and my easel kept blowing over. You know, there, there's a look. And uh, do you have, have some boaters out here? Or yeah, the so uh, um, the row team. Yes. I captured them going down the river, and that ended up being super popular. Uh, they chose this as um, the Christmas ornament for the Downtown oh. Davenport Women's Association. Atlanta? And, uh, Did you get something for that? Yes. Well, mm -hmm. someone ended up buying the painting. It was the parents mm -hmm. of a girl on the road team who had just graduated. Yeah, so it was I, like a I, college I, I see present. which one she is. <laughs> she's, she's the third from the left. Yeah, um, and there's, there's the, the the old bridge, which is which is still standing, the old span. Yeah, and it has the crane where yeah. you can see where it's kind of. Yep, that is cool. so cool. What you do, <laughs> uh, you must love it. And so, um, for our viewers right now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to show off one thing that uh, so somebody can see what your work is, what would you recommend they go to find right now? Uh, one of my favorite pieces that I completed last summer is down at the in East Moline at the Palace Tavern. It, the wall is like 150 foot long. I know that painting. Uh, yes, the old palace that's been there for many, many decades. Yeah, and yes. they just re, uh, completely did a restore of right. it, and it's beautiful inside. The food's great, but the mural really catches your eye when you're driving, and it's so pretty. That's yours, the palace in downtown East Moline, yep. Atlanta. We're so so proud of you uh, as a, as a maroon as well. Yes. And uh, there's all there's your uh, your site, Atlanta Dawn. Com. How are you ever going to forget that? Name? Never. <laughs> Thanks, Atlanta. You did a great job. Thank you.